Hello everybody, Peter of England here bringing you a short video on the subject of the planetary repayment card and why you should begin to seriously think about using an alternative monetary unit of exchange on the planet. At the moment, the choices are controlled by the European Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, the Bank for International Settlements and other central banks. These fiat currencies are nothing more than worthless paper, backed by, in effect, some notional uh, provision of a promissory note issued by these, these central banks. But who's guaranteeing the, the promise on the notes? It's you. In return for taxation rights, the government issues credit in the form of currency provision through these central banks. So, what if you decided or were given the opportunity to now use an alternative currency unit, an alternative monetary unit though? Please make sure that you understand the difference between money and currency. Currency is a worthless paper, a facilitation of credit generated on a computer screen by the banks simply typing zeros after a one into their ledger. However, money is a store, a unit of value which endures over time. And time is the essence of a WEA bank account. It is a promise to do something over time. For those of you who go into a bank, you ask to take out a loan, 10,000 euros, dollars or pounds. What is the main criteria that the bank manager will ask you? Can you pay it off? And if so, how much do you earn to pay it off? And he asks you how much you pay or you can pay off per week, per month or per year. All measures of time. So time is the fundamental finite resource of all human beings and all creatures on this planet. Therefore, it is the finite and absolute monetary unit of account. And Weir Bank is the only organization the only collective that's delivering it. Now, on the global financial markets at the moment, as this video is coming to you on the 14th or 15th of June, we're approximately nine days away from the Brexit uh, initiative or the referendum on whether Britain stays in the European Union. I have every confidence that it will not. However, whether it stays in or whether it stays out, it's possibly part of a larger picture to destabilize the currency markets and the financial markets globally. What does this mean to you? It means more fear, more lack, more austerity, more everything that they can throw at you. So why not end it? Why not now, with an informed choice, an informed decision, begin to trade in an alternative money? One that is controlled by you and we are bank, us. It's not anything to do with an issuance of fiat currency, worthless, toxic nonsense that is issued by the central banks with the oversight of the Bank of International Settlements. So that is the offer. This is why you should take not only the card and why not only you should begin to understand the nature of monetary enslavement, but now is a meaningful opportunity for once and for all to change the way that the monetary units of account are balanced and traded on this planet. So please go to the website wearbank.co.uk and join Wearbank, apply for the card, and for all retailers out there, all providers of goods and services, please come on board and just try it. Accept maybe just 10 or 20 percent of the value of the goods and services you provide accept a payment in re. Also, employers out there, why not ask your employees if they'll work for one hour a day, just one hour a day, that last hour of the day, and we will pay them in re. It will reduce your, uh, your wages bill and it will put something into their pockets which is infinitely more valuable than the eight or ten hours, uh, ten pounds or so, or ten euros of minimum wage that you pay them in that last hour. So we have many things to discuss, many more uh, uh, hurdles to cross, but we're going strong and we are the only alternative banking facility of choice and freedom and transparency under common law on 
the planet. Thank you.